let's go back to Rameshwaram Cafe. I was expecting from uh, politicians uh, uh, to, to suggest what should we do? Why? Because I'll tell you. Because if this bomb has a signature of the ISIS, uh, which, which happened last year, uh, believe me, uh, the most uh, serious case was last year. Again, when five people were caught and they were planning to plant bombs, it was an excellent intelligence operation by the, by the Karnataka state where you got satellite phones, where you got weapons. Now the question is, Karnataka has been raided 16 locations by the NIA for an IP, uh, for PFI module uh, last year itself. Now the PFI activities are in Kerala, uh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and all these areas. Here is a time to wake up. Here is a time that our intelligence should go double time because the elections are coming. And what fallout with this kind of thing have? Now, this is this clearly has the signature of a terrorist uh, angle for the simple reason, as I said uh, before, the choice of the restaurant, one of the most famous, the choice of the timing, which is about 12 and 1, that the maximum impact and maximum injury could be done. Now, if this has been done in a ham-handed manner, we should be prepared for future. And I think it is time for the center the, the, the Mr. Pralad Joshi and, or the, the deputy CM should get together and do something about it rather than, you know, going, um, you know, against each other on, on, in a political matter. And I tell you, there are so many things which, which can be really done. The database of NIA today is amazing. It, NIA has done tremendous work. It has got 93% conviction. The, the state today should completely enmesh its data. We have the CCTNS. There are so many things to do. And one meeting at the level of a union home minister with the state chiefs and yeah, will will go a large way in, in sort of preparing ourselves for the future. And that is exactly what the politician. I, 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 and I'm so thankful to you for returning us to the gravitas of what we're actually talking about, which is terrorism. I, I, I'll give Surabhi and Shama last words, but I want to bring in Ms. Girish. Ms. Girish, I know you've been, you know, maintaining a dignified silence as our politicians squabble. What is the most important focus as a citizen, a resident of Bengaluru that you would seek from both the state and the center at this time? So for me as a citizen of Bengaluru, I want my city to be safe and I want people to be able to go out irrespective of whether it is Rameshwaram cafe or a mall or a movie theater or a hospital. And this kind of thing, a bomb, you know, being set off and injuring people or killing people, this is very, very disturbing. It, I saw videos where people who were injured and, you know, some of them were just sitting with their head in their hands. It's traumatic. And I don't think the, the way to deal with this is, of course, as the officers already said, that people need to come together. It needs leadership at all level, at the police level, at the NIA level, at the political level. When leadership is shown, then only you can stop these things from happening again and again. And there has to be exemplary punishment, quick, very, very, very quick arrest, catch the perpetrator, catch whoever is behind them and, and show, show us, show all Indians that you mean business, that such things will never be tolerated. The punishment should be really, really speedy and exemplary. We have to deter these things from happening. We have to have safe cities and a safe country. And you cannot compare the same with an attack on the border. At the border, our soldiers have to defend an attack from the enemy. This is within our country. Are we going to say that all these, these are, you know, these are probably from citizens of India. Are we going to say that they are also our enemies? No, we have to treat this differently. And the message that has to go out loud and clear is that terror will not be tolerated and nor will being soft on terror is, is just not, it, it's just not acceptable. Uh, I think Mr. Azad and Ms. Girish have made some excellent points and they should uh, bring some sobriety to the concluding remarks from both the politicians. So, Ruby, I'll start with you. Completely, um, you know, dismiss your charge of being a squabbling politician. I am a Bengali. <laughs> First, I think yeah. everything that, 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 that was a that was a general term for what happens when Congress and BJP start arguing. Nothing yeah. personal meant to either of Absolutely. Them. Please, I please really on. liked yeah. I really liked uh, the suggestion that Mr. Azad said that we should be giving constructive suggestions to the Congress, helping them in ensuring that this investigation that is the intent. That is precisely why the BJP has requested that all resources available, including the NIA, should be utilized and this investigation should be strengthened as 
as much as possible yesterday it sidramaiah uh, cm was in the in mysore so a lot of leaders took the responsibility to also go help out the victims that was also something a uh, camaraderie that you could have seen apart from that i have one request which is that SDPI, which is a, uh, the wing of the PFI, which uh, is contest election. The councillor in my area is actually from SDPI as well. The Karnataka government and the Congress party must very seriously think about ways in which to keep Bengaluru safe. Bengaluru is going to be a big one. You know, we are coming under attack from so many different places, and it's really important for Bengaluru city governance to be strengthened, for our security and crime to be strengthened. But let's start today with a moment of solidarity solidarity you know as said as ms girish rightly said it's attack not an attack at the border it's an attack from within that is quite scary for normal citizens of karnataka as of karnataka and bengaluru it's quite a scary thing so let us stand in solidarity and in and say this a city is not going to tolerate this that is Absolutely. the messaging that i want from the congress party dr mohammad can we end on a note of agreement on that at least Okay, for that I'm going to get back to her. But let me tell you, in 2002, when the Parliament attack happened, the first person who called Mr. Vajpay was Sonia Gandhi ji and said, "What we are deeply concerned. What can we do? This is how the Congress Party looks at any attack on this country or our people. We are one." 